Okay, I just rewired the negative wire off of the going to the charger instead of it being hooked up to the bundle that goes to the negative contactor um, I'm, I'm reworking mine to where because there's all this complication between the VCU and the MCU and having to close the contactors when you plug in the charge but the VCU is enormous I went back and forth a, a ton of different ways about how to wire this up and talk to the Thunderstruck guys and what I finally settled on, even though it's not ideal, but it's the best I think I can do, is the positive of the charger will still go, it goes through that fuse, and it still goes through the charger contactor, the positive uh, charger contactor. So that's still switched, but the negative of that, I'm just going to wire to be always connected to the negative. So again, not ideal, but it's a... Uh, best trade-off I can come up with. So that wire runs inside all the way through and then I just kind of dremeled a little hole for this to come through nice. And then what I'm gonna do is um, kind of just also groove the hole in here. I'll groove, I'll come around and put a little ring connector and, um, and I'm gonna attach it to the negative post here underneath the main one from the battery. So, that one will, will be always connected, but at least I won't have this wire running to the charger. It'll all be internal to here, and we'll have one solid plug, which plugs in the correct way, and it will at least, you know, look right. So, anyway, I just wanted to show the insides of what I wired up, and uh, in case later, uh, when it's all closed up, you can't see it. Oh, and one other thing. I... I talked with a bunch of people online. No one can, as of recording this video, no one understands or no one can explain why the positive and negative out of this plug are the same thick gauge wire. The positive and negative out of this plug are the same thick gauge wire. But the positive and the negative out of the charger plug, the positive is the larger gauge wire, goes through the 15 amp fuse and everything. But the negative, for some reason on the Chevy Volt, the negative wire is this little thin wire I, I don't understand why that wire would be a different size it seems to me the amount of current going through the positive and negative has to be the same i would think so i don't understand that um, my wire that i put in is larger but of course you know the part that i had to tie in on is is not so it's not really making that big of a a difference it's not helping really anything because you've got this short thinner wire here but anyway um i don't I don't understand why that is. I, I, the more that I read, the more, even the Weber, the Weber automotive video for the Chevy Volt battery teardown, his wire, his negative charger wire is thin there too. And, um, I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe it's just a, an error in their harness spec, but I guess that little thin wire is big enough, right? That I, I guess it doesn't, it'll handle 15 amps, I, I suppose. But anyway, just wanted to point out that I did my best there. Um, but unless you've got the D pin tool and another connector to make, to actually go in this connector, you're going to have to live with some stub of wire there. So, okay. So just got through getting these wires extended to this new plug. So what I'm trying to do is use this new current sensor, which is, I think the, S124 to replace <clears throat> this one, which was the one that comes on the Chevy Volt. Unfortunately, the uh, VCU that from I'm using doesn't support this current sensor, but uh, it does support the 124. So I took this and I made it fit. Luckily, the, the bolt holes are the same, but some of the plastic is not quite... Um, Let's see if I can get a little bit more light. Um, so I had to like dremel out a little few things to try to get that. So I'll put that on there and then I extend this has a different plug. So I will get these wires routed in here and tucked away for the new current sensor. I think that looks pretty good. So I got it screwed in there. Got the current loop back through there. 
Boy, I sure hope this is the right way. I mean, I kind of put it the same way as that other one did, and I'm looking at which direction is the battery pack versus the inverter, and I hope this is right, because if i got to flip this thing over, it's not, it's not going to work very well. But anyway, um, and I got it, the wires wrapped up with a little zip tie, and also I put a little dab of hot glue there to try to keep them from popping up. And uh, I think that's pretty good. I think we're going to get some good use out of this Chevy Volt relay pack.